disunity in the world is the biggest problem of modern age. City Montessori School, founded by Dr. Jagdish Gandhi and his wife, Dr. Bharati Gandhi, in Lucknow in 1959, as in the social responsibility of a modern school, is to unite the disunited world through education based on spiritual principles propelled with the firm belief of Vasudheva Kutumbakam and Jaya Jagat, powered with the ideology so well enshrined in the Article 51 of the Indian Constitution that states that the state shall endeavor to promote international peace and security, maintain just and honorable relations between nations, foster respect for international law, and encourage settlement of international disputes by arbitration, Dr. Gandhi's untiring efforts to create a peaceful world has been recognized at international level. This video is a glimpse of recognition of impact of CMS education so well guided by Dr. Jagdish Gandhi through his CMS World Unity Education Department. Dr. Gandhi, born a Hindu, has embraced Baha'i religion. He went to Israel in 1974, regarded by Jews, Christians and Muslims as the Biblical Holy Land. He has a very democratic approach towards religion. In 1974, he had the opportunity to visit United Kingdom, where he hosted the Second International Youth Conference in London. Since then, there has been no looking back. In late 20th century, Dr. Gandhi visited Japan and from there he pioneered the concept of quality in education through student quality control circles. First world level recognition came in 1999 when Guinness World Record Certificate was given to City Montessori School as the largest school by pupils. UNESCO Prize for Peace Education was awarded to the school for which the CMS founders travelled to Paris in 2002. On 5th October in 2009, Bashkir State Pedagogical University, Ufa, Russia, awarded an honorary doctorate degree in education to Dr. Jagdish Gandhi at a glittering convocation ceremony for devoting 50 long years to the service of society and humanity at large in the field of education and building a world fit for children and generations yet to be born. Later, he met Mr. Almas Mustaif, pro-rector of BSPU, which ultimately resulted in signing of Memorandum of Understanding to promote international exchanges between BSPU and CMS. During the course of his visit, he was invited by the Montessori School in Ufa. Dear friend, a certain moment in human history, education must also act as a powerful instrument of profound social transformation. Dr. Gandhi came to Moscow, where he was invited by the Institute of Philosophy of Russian Academy of Sciences and the Russian Philosophical Society for a press conference. Children's attitude lack to change the parents. That means the society. And in the parents, the Prime Minister will also come. 
the king said you are sick because everybody had checked two renowned civil society organizations also felicitated dr gandhi with diplomas other programs at moscow included a guest lecture to the undergraduate students of moscow state university of psychology and education this unity in the world is the biggest problem of the modern age meeting with the bahais of moscow first thing bahula prescribes purity of heart And once the heart is pure, it can be united. Mrs. Tatiana Oreskaya, principal of Slavic and American School, invited him over at the school for guest lecture. Education must also act as a powerful instrument of our profound social transformation and to help an establishment of a divine civilization on earth in place of. rapidly increasing disunited inhuman lawless unjust and satanic civilization and finally a visit to the indian embassy where he met the ambassador mr prabhat prakash shukla in 2012 another recognition came from argentina when the university of concepcion del uruguay Entre Rios province located on the western shore of the Uruguay River some 320 kilometers north from Buenos Aires the capital of Argentina Dr Hector B Suryat rector of the university decorated Dr Gandhi with the honorius causa that is the honorary doctorate degree in law it is indeed a moment of great pride and privilege for me to stand before this august gathering of professors and students here to receive this great honor dr gandhi then went on to receive the second doctorate degree in law given by the university of mendoza in the province of mendoza in argentina dr salvador rector and dr amelio vasquez viera dean faculty of law did the honors according to the exigency of social needs of the time to avert justice and justice must be real justice that is no denial of human right and justice even to the innocent the children the poorest the helpless and the weakest men as revealed in all the holy books of god after the ceremony dr gandhi addressed the university authorities and media at the university of mendoza between india and pakistan between israel and palestine between south korea and north korea between america or iraq in so many places the tensions are increasing and the people are settling the disputes by armies or armaments we believe that the judiciary the world judiciary united world judiciary is the last hope of humanity's survival that is why we are collecting judiciary of the world at one place later president of the supreme court of mendoza province met dr gandhi in his office dr gandhi left for buenos aires and upon reaching the capital of argentina met honorable madam justice helena d noloska vice president of the supreme court of argentina later he was interviewed by the local press that in 2012 the conditions of the world have totally changed at the same time we need a legally constituted world parliament director general judicial exchange and studies academy justice ricardo d Rossi organized a lunch reception in his honor judges of several courts of appeal and lawyers from the bar association Dr Gandhi was interviewed by Asia TV inside the official chamber of Justice Ricardo D Rossi How did you manage 
that so, so so many people from so very different religions that Sikhs, Muslims could uh, live together in the same roof considering all the violence that we are seeing in the world each day based on religion conflicts. You know, people want peace and peace is the byproduct of unity and we teach unity, unity of religions, unity of man, unity of God and that is one of the reasons the people have started realizing that there is all the divisions are man-made. God has created us all equal. There is no division in the, in the sight of God. Dr. Gandhi was conferred with the prestigious honorary doctorate degree by Inca Garcilaso University in Peru in October 2014, the recognition of his 55 years of continuous efforts in the direction of world unity and world peace at global level. In 2015, Dr. Gandhi, on special invitation by the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of Mongolia, Honorable Mr. Justice T. S. Zorik, left for Mongolia. Here, Dr. Gandhi was conferred with the prestigious honorary doctorate degree by the National University, the oldest university in Mongolia, at the law school. Honorable Mr. Justice T. S. Zorik had organized an interaction meeting for him with large group of judges and lawyers who had participated at the Chief Justice's conference held in Lucknow together with the officials of the Supreme Court of Mongolia. Later, a lunch reception for Dr. Gandhi was organized at the Grand Khan Irish Restaurant. Dr. Gandhi also went to visit the President of Mongolia, His Excellency Sakhaigin Elbegdorj, at the Government Palace of Mongolia. He then addressed the National Spiritual Assembly of the Baha'is of Mongolia. A dinner meet was hosted by Honorable Mrs. Justice Amar Saikhan Sen, Judge Supreme Court of Mongolia, and Mr. Narayan Purev, Head of Administrative Department, Supreme Court of Mongolia. Honorable Madam Justice Graciela Dixon, former Chief Justice, Supreme Court of Panama and President of International Association of Women Judges, in its ninth biennial conference of women judges held in Panama City, Republic of Panama, invited Dr. Gandhi to attend the academic event of magistrates and judges of the world in March 2008. Dr. Gandhi took this wonderful opportunity to interact and invite judges for the International Conference of Chief Justices of the World held in Lucknow. Dr. Gandhi in October 2008 was invited by Right Honourable Mr. Pius Langa and Dr. Karen Buver, Secretary General of the Commonwealth Magistrates and Judges Association in Cape Town, South Africa. The question is very simple. For the justice to the people, who is accountable? The judiciary or the politicians who make the law in the parliament? But some of them break the law in hiding and interfere with the justice whenever their political interests so require. The work of the parliament should be confined to making the law. The work of the judiciary should be to interpret the law while deciding the cases in the interest or the wide interest of the society. And the government must make sure the decisions of the court are enforced and implemented in letter and spirit. He was the only academician invited to speak on the forum. 
Later, Dr. Gandhi extensively networked with other delegates. Dr. Gandhi visited Turkey in April 2010 on the special invitation by the first president of the Supreme Court of Turkey, Honorable Mr. Justice Hassan Garsekar, to take part in the International Colloquium on Child Criminality and Law in Germany, India and Turkey, organized by the Supreme Court of Turkey and Istanbul Cultural University in Istanbul, Turkey. Dear friends, uh, why children become criminal? And what are the reasons of criminality? Where from this criminality comes in children? And there are two solutions. One is the law, to deal with the law. Another is, which many judgments, which I have read in Supreme Court of India and other countries, they say also say they need good education, the proper education. On the invitation of the Chief Justice of Norway, Honorable Mr. Justice Tureshi, in 2011, Dr. Gandhi visited him at his office in the Supreme Court, Oslo, Norway. Justice must be taught compulsorily from early childhood all over the world and every child must be made law-abiding and just right from his childhood. Later, he presented him with the Lifetime Achievement Award. Dr. Gandhi spoke in Oslo and Akershus University College of Applied Sciences. He must bomb attack. Killed 11 people in Delhi, while earlier on 26th November 2008, a terror attack killed 164 people in Bombay, both highly prepared attacks. The vast of these perpetrators began in the mines. It is in the mines where the defense of the peace must be constructed. Since 32 years, CMS is preparing the mindset of its students for world unity and world peace. The lecture was very much appreciated by the rector, faculty and students. Dr. Gandhi presented the Excellence in Education Award to the rector of the university, Ms. Kari Tovarad Jensen. The lecture was followed by a cultural evening. He was invited by the University of Oslo, where he spoke about global citizenship. Towards the end of his trip, he delivered a presentation at the MF Norwegian School of Theology, invited by Professor Bjorn Lingrod. That is a divine being. It is divine education. So the soul of God is within us. Our eyes can see. Our ears can listen, our tongue can speak, our mouth can eat, our hands are moving, our mind is working. But as soon as God takes over the soul, then our eyes will not see, ears will not listen, tongue will not speak, mouth will not eat, hands will not move, mind will not work. And then even the family members will say, oh, take your mother. Everything is gone, nothing is left. Soul is gone, everything is gone. Now body or body. So what is everything? Everything is the soul within. Ms. Gard Han Posen, Secretary General of the Norwegian National Commission for UNESCO, invited Dr. Gandhi at the Grosh restaurant in Oslo. Although I am the recipient of the UNESCO Prize, I am eternally obliged to the UNESCO for giving me this prize. He addressed Indian community in Oslo where the mayor of Oslo, Mr. Totsin Winger, honored Dr. Gandhi with Sanskriti Award. At the moment in human history, education must also act as a powerful instrument of profound social transformation. Honorable Justice Dr. Haider Ahmad Dafala, Chief Justice Supreme Court of Sudan, invited Dr. Jagdish Gandhi convener of the International Conference of Chief Justices of the World for the first conference of Chief Justices 
and presidents of Supreme Courts of African States held in April 2017 in Sudan. I am reminded of what Justice Dafula said at the International Conference of Chief Justices of the World at Sri Montessori School, Lucknow, in India. He said, throughout recorded history, nations and peoples have come together for world peace to settle their differences and to advance the common prosperity forward despite the global challenges around us torn by wars. The cycle of violence has recently witnessed resulting in untold misery on large number of people, including women and children. The situation requires a unified international response. We have seen Africa take a lead in uniting the world at the international conferences of chief justices of the world that we organize annually at City Montessori School in Lucknow, India. President of the Republic of Sudan, His Excellency Field Marshal Omar Hassan Ahmed Al Bashir hosted a dinner reception where Dr Gandhi shared the table with the president and the chief justice of the Supreme Court of Sudan. Dr Gandhi took part in a cultural performance along with honorable justice the fala. At a glittering award ceremony in Manila, Philippines, the Gusi Peace Prize, the highest civilian award by the country, was presented to the Governor of West Bengal, His Excellency Mr. M. K. Narayanan, and Dr. Jagdish Gandhi, founder of City Montessori School, on November 2011. The laureate for his contribution to education. Dr. Jagdish Gandhi, founder of City Montessori School in Lucknow, India. Ambassador Mr. Barry Gusi from International Committee and Chairman of the Gusi Peace Prize Board presented the award to Dr. Jagdish Gandhi. Dr. Gandhi was awarded the Gusi Peace Prize, also known as the Asian Nobel Prize. for his untiring effort working for people's amelioration to find peaceful solution for people's welfare and for his significant contribution to world peace through education i am extremely thankful to honorable mr mrs bari gusi and the international prize committee of gusi for honoring me with this prestigious most prestigious Dr Gandhi's visit to Manila included a lecture at the Operation Brotherhood Montessori College. This school is the right house of society. And if this school is not the right house of society, it will become the bad house of society. Each student they may have three characters. So the child every child has three characters. In each character He attended a press conference at the multi-purpose hall of the Philippine National Police Headquarters in Manila. May we call on now Dr. Jadish Gandhi from India, the founder of the City Montessori School in Lucknow, the largest school in the world, Guinness Book of World Records. Friends, Your Excellencies, Your Excellency Mr. Bari Gusi, Mrs. Gusi, the members of the Gusi Peace Prize Committee, I am extremely grateful to the Gusi Peace Prize Committee for this prestigious honor. Dear friends, this is a prize for peace, and I consider peace as a byproduct of unity. The laureates of the Peace Prize. attended the wreath-laying ceremony Ms Virginia A Marlow 
Secretary General UNESCO National Commission of the Philippines welcomed Dr. Jagdish Gandhi at her NATCOM office located in the building of Department of Foreign Affairs. He delivered a lecture there on the topic peace education. The gathering included officials of UNESCO and Metro Manila. Dr. Gandhi met the Indian Ambassador, His Excellency Mr. Yogendra Kumar, at the Indian Embassy. Mr. Gandhi, escorted by Mr. Edgardo A. Lu, came to St. Francis of Assisi School, Tagwe campus in Manila to a grand reception by the students where he addressed them. Shall the assembly and give it a big round of applause to bring Dr. Jagdish Gandhi. Dear children, the globe is the creation of Almighty God. He has created this entire humanity. This whole family of growth is the creation of one God. He also visited the main campus of the school an hour's drive from Manila in Las Penas City. What is important is not teaching only mathematics, science, physics, or chemistry is one part of education. That is material education. But man is a material being, man is a human being, man is a part of the uh, a member of the global society. In 2000, he visited Mauritius to receive the Quality Pioneer Award by His Excellency Mr. Kasamo Thiem, President of Mauritius, Port Louis Mauritius, for his pioneering contribution in introducing the concept and practice of quality circles in education. In 2002, Dr. Jadish Gandhi went to USA to receive the key to the city of Georgetown by the mayor of Georgetown, Mr. Everett Warney, for being a true visionary in the field of education as he introduced the concept of quality control circles in education. He was the first Indian to receive the award. Dr. Gandhi visited Sri Lanka in 2007 where he received the Bandranaike Global Excellence Award for his contribution in bringing about a paradigm shift in quality movement by launching quality circles in schools in 1993 and later spreading the philosophy of Kaizen and quality circles as an integral part of total quality management. He led the students' team to the United Kingdom to take part in International Students' Quality Control Circles in Kingston for the ICSQCC in Nepal called Quest Nepal. He was the chief guest and the convention was inaugurated by the then Prime Minister of Nepal, Sri Pushpakamal Dahal Prachanda. The Prime Minister honoured Dr. Jagdish Gandhi for his excellent work rendered in the field of education. During his recent visit to Mauritius, Dr. Jagdish Gandhi met the President, Her Excellency B.B. Amina Firdaus Gharib Fakim, Prime Minister Sri Anirudh Jagannath. Recently, he visited Sri Lanka as the Chief Guest. Chief Minister of the Sabaragamua province of Sri Lanka, Sri Mahipala Herod. Progressively more insecure and unprotected during the past seven decades since the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Dr. Gandhi visited United States of America when he was invited by the United Nations headquarters in New York where CMS was accorded with the UN NGO status by United Nations Development Programs in India. Dr. Jagdish Gandhi's work has been recognized by the world and we hope the profound message of Jai Jagat spreads 
far and wide. We need to change our global system because the prison system itself is the problem. A system designed to promote endless growth through mindless consumption is like a cancer that will ultimately consume humanity. Jajagat, 